There is only one bird species that can fly backward. At least this is one of the birds that can be easily recognized and liked by humans. The bird is a hummingbird, this type of bird is commonly found in the Americas and is one of the most amazing aerial acrobatic animals. What is a hummingbird? 340 species of hummingbirds in the world and most of them live and breed in South America. Hummingbirds are birds that like to migrate and wander a great distance just to lay eggs. There are at least 16 species of hummingbirds breeding in the United States. Hummingbirds have different shapes and sizes. From hummingbirds with plain feathers to colorful feathers and beautiful wings. One that is easily recognized is the hummingbird species that live in the United States, commonly called ruby-throated hummingbird. It's about 3 inches long and has red feathers around the neck. The smallest bird species is the bee hummingbird. Given a name like that because its size is almost equal to a bee. The largest type of hummingbird named giant hummingbird which measures 8 inches taller than bee hummingbird. There is one type of hummingbird that is most rarely found is the marvelous spatial tail hummingbird. This type of bird lives in Peru and is recognized by its very long tail feathers. This bird also has a very charming blue color and is usually used to attract the attention of females. Age of hummingbirds reaches 3 to 4 years. The main foods are sweet pollen and they use a long tongue to lick the nectar in this flower. Besides nectar, they also usually eat small insects. Besides its cute and adorable form, it turns out that hummingbirds are a type of bird that is very guarding its territory. When they do not go to find food, they will perch at an altitude and will attack intruders entering their territory. How do they fly? Bird flaps so fast that it's not easy to see. The smaller the size of the hummingbird, the faster the wings flap. The wings will pack 15 to 80 times in one second depending on the type of hummingbird. When flapping arises a buzzing sound, hummingbirds have a different flight style than other birds. This bird is able to move up and down quickly. So this makes him able to make movements that are difficult for other birds to do such as flying in the same place for a few minutes, flying forward, flying backward, sideways, and from top to bottom. They are able to sit on one tree for five minutes and then in an instant the eye moves to another tree. Most birds doing a downward movement need a lot of energy while the upward movement requires a little energy. Because hummingbirds move up and down simultaneously, a lot of energy is needed, especially without resting. If you compare hummingbirds to humans, it takes at least 30,000 calories a day to carry out their acrobatic movements. Hummingbirds also have a very large proportion of heart in their body and also have a heart rate that reaches 1,000 heartbeats per minute during flight and 200 heartbeats per minute when sleeping. It's really amazing, why can a hummingbird fly backward? These two reasons, first, the structure of the wings of a hummingbird is very flexible so that it can be rotated to 180 degrees. Because of its advantages, the hummingbird can move in any direction without having to twist its body. Second, supported by a strong chest muscle, the hummingbird can flap its wings with a frequency of up to 80 times per second. Because so fast we can't even see the wings of a hummingbird when flying or flapping. For these two reasons the hummingbird can do acrobatic movements in the air and can fly backward without turning the body and head backward. Because of this unique hummingbird, some scientists claim that hummingbirds are a perfect blend of physical birds with the ability to fly insects. Now you already know the reason why hummingbirds can fly backward. In addition to retreating, the hummingbird can also fly up down and to the side without having to rotate the body and head, just like the movement of a bee or wasp fly when looking for nectar or flower juice.